it going everyone? Today I am not in either of my 9.3s as you might be able to tell. I am in our 9.5 wagon and the reason for that being we are currently headed to the junkyard as we're passing. For some reason there's semis in all three lanes, you know, you gotta love, gotta love that. But we are headed to the junkyard to get some very rare seats for what will be my 2.093, my ARC. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you might have seen, I don't know when this video is gonna go up, but you might have seen that a couple of weeks ago, probably by the time you're seeing this, I posted that I went to the junkyard and I was getting something special for the car. And we ended up only having like an hour and a half or so before they closed and we got there because that's just how it worked out that day. We didn't have much time. So we only got the driver's seat, we got most of the passenger seat out, and then we took the back bench out, and not the top part of the back seat. So today I'm going back there, I only have about an hour and a half again, unfortunately, if that, actually more like an hour. Uh, so my goal is to get the rest out, but at the very least I want to at least get the passenger seat out because that's the last very valuable thing in there. But it is an anniversary interior, I haven't mentioned that yet. So very rare interior, very premium interior. There happened to be an anniversary, of course it showed up in the junkyard. So without talking too much about the car, without showing it, I've got about a 15 minute drive more till I get there. But if you guys have not seen the kind of miles we have on this thing, 265K and it's still going. It rides so smooth, I forgot how smooth 9.5s are, or I guess sobs without modified suspensions in general. But with that being said, I'm gonna stop talking. I'll catch up with you guys when we're at the yard. Here it is, guys. 2007 93 anniversary. No, I cannot grab you parts for it, sorry. If I have time, I'm gonna grab the steering wheel probably. But you can see driver's seat's gone, bottom cushion's gone. I took the headrest out of this one, hoping that no one else would take the rest. So let me just give you a backstory, because you can see this car is already completely gutted, and it looked like this pretty much when I got here. So. I came last Saturday, and the day before I came was the day the car got here, and it looked like this already. So pretty crazy how fast people get stuff off anything that's even relatively rare. Yes, coil pack, oh no, coil packs are still here. Might have to take these actually. We'll see, depends on if I feel like spending more money than I should. Unfortunately, all the wheels are not here, and the one that is here is curbed, because those are nice wheels. But yeah, we're gonna be taking this seat the rest of the way out. You can see it's most of the way out, but we'll see, we gotta finish it up. So I believe I've gotten the last one out, which was this one down here. Someone, uh, I had someone come for me last weekend, because I was worried I wasn't gonna get the rest of the interior, and they took out this entire center console. Still couldn't get to it. It took me about 15 minutes to get this one out, just like little quarter, eighth turn of a wrench every time. I have a 12 volt power source, I was about to try that, but Got a little bit lazy and I just decided to work harder instead of smarter, but that's okay. I think we have everything out now. So there is actually one more. I didn't see this one right here on the side by the door. It's very bright right now because the lighting is really bad. So I'd turn that up and otherwise obviously you can't see it. So I'm gonna get that one out now. These are all just 13 millimeter, but yeah, seat is almost out. If you want a little ASMR of uh, Phoenix Junkyard, just go ahead and turn up the music right now. Turn up the sound, I mean. All right, enough of that. Let's uh, let's get this seat out. Should be all ready to go now. Right, I'm uh, putting the camera on top of another car here. I'm staring straight into the sun, that's why I look like an even more of an idiot than normal right now. Should be all good to go. So I'm sure you can understand why one of these now that they're out in the sun, get how clean, I mean, I shouldn't say clean, look at how nice they are. I mean, they're obviously filthy, there's dirt everywhere, but in terms of the leather, it's just about perfect. So to get these back seats out, it's a complete pain in the ass. So there's a 13 millimeter right down in there that you can see, and you basically, so what you do is you basically put it in you put it in, you put the wrench in one way, right? And you rotate it as far as you can to one side. So I've done that. Then you flip it the other way 
and you're supposed to be able to fit the wrench in there. I have two different 13 millimeters and I'm not able to do that with either one. I can't, I can't fit it back in there. So I'm currently struggling with that. If you've ever done this, you'll know that there's no room to put any sort of socket. There's no room to use the other end of the wrench. You're, so you're kind of, you're kind of screwed. So I'm not sure exactly what I should do now, but it's not loose enough to where I can kind of like slide it out and plus this is spring loaded in here. So I'm not exactly sure what to do, but I've kind of run out of time. I just can't, can't get it started other than that first, that first turn. So you might have to maybe like shave down one of the wrenches or something, but the back seats are obviously in good condition too, or else I wouldn't be taking them. I think that might effectively wrap up this video. I, like I said, it sucks. I just don't have more time, but it, it is what it is. Priorities, you have other stuff going on, I'm sure. Most of you guys can relate, so I guess I'll come back another time off camera. I didn't bring my camera the first time uh, when I was doing this either. Anything of value on this car is pretty much gone. Someone might be wondering about this. Well, it's somehow cracked in two different spots. The seats are mine, so no. There's only one wheel left. Uh, everything in here is gone except for the steering wheel. The body itself is, is actually really clean. Only thing I can see is a little nick in the front bumper here, which makes you wonder why is this even here in the first place. ECU, obviously gone. If you guys are wondering about the coil packs, I was going to grab them and I was in the middle of making a nice portion of the video being like, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, let you guys, you know, I'll get these for someone, someone can buy them, whatever, but I'm looking at them and the two that I've pulled out so far are, they don't look good to say the least. So I don't think that these are going to be functioning so I'm going to put them back and considering there's been about six saw people here ready to look at this car and take various things off of it, I'm going to trust the opinions of others as well because they would not be here if they were in good functioning shape as a massive plane flies uh, right overhead somewhere in the frame. You can't see, uh, there it is, yes, right in the middle. So. I'm going to just leave them here for someone else. So I'm sorry about that guys. If you look at that and you think that they're still good, and you know, when I obviously come back again, hopefully the car's still here when I have time to come back again to get the rest of this back seat, then uh, I'll grab the coil packs as well. Nice thing about this yard in particular is they have like these homemade like wheelbarrows, which are really cool because they use like old car tires and stuff on them to help pull your shit around when you get stuff like this. And there's so many planes overhead. So the audio is absolute trash. I'll show you guys the final, I guess, haul from what I got. And when I get out to the car, I'll tell you guys how much it all cost. But I have the seat, obviously. Headrest is at home already. Uh, this other plastic piece that goes around the front here have a few hardware, some of the things I took off. We have this, which goes right in this space in here. You can see this interior is just absolutely, completely gutted. Gotta get my tools still. That's my little 12 volt power source. If you're ever removing seats at a junkyard, power seats, bring one of those. That way you can hook it up to the battery terminals and move it forward and backwards if you need to. Came in good use when I came last time. And last, and I guess partially least, is this little glove box. If you guys did not see the Project Saw video, go watch it right after you're done watching this video. I'll link it up in the top corner. But this is the little piece that basically clips in and makes sure the glove box does not fall down like that when you open it. So, got another one of these because we only had one and both of them were broken in Sarah's car. But for now, and because I only brought my small tripod, it's gonna sit on the ground like this. I'm gonna load all of this up into the wheelbarrow. Last but not least, this. It's all loaded up. I'm gonna go to the front, but before I do that, I wanna show you a disaster of a vehicle. Right here, look at this thing. Who thought that was a good idea? And whoever thought, clearly someone knew it wasn't a good idea and decided to completely T-bone this person right here. 
and destroy these crappy eBay rims. I mean, look at that. This just got absolutely obliterated, but who thought that was a good idea? Hard to do this. One hand. And we're going backwards too. There's the wagon all her glory. So much road noise. That is why we bring the wagon, because in the sports sedan would not fit very well. All right, so for this passenger seat here and that little side cushion, I paid $62 with tax. You can go ahead and double that for the driver's seat, which I'm in right now, and the other little side panel. So that'll be about $124. The bottom seat cushion, which is sitting behind the camera right now, was about $25, so we're at about $150 right now. I need that top part, we'll say $50 for that. So that's $200 for, well, what is a dirty, but otherwise just about perfect anniversary interior. I'm gonna call worth it on that. You guys can discuss down below in the comments, but a clean arrow interior goes for more than that. So even if I were to sell it, which I'm not, it's going in the 2.0, I would make money on it. So. At some point, I'll do a video cleaning these seats up. Of course, I need to go back and get the rest of the interior still. Um, and of course, we'll install them in 2.0. So very much looking forward to that because guys, oh, these seats are so, so comfortable. Here is the bench from the back. It's in near perfect condition. There's a little bit of a hole right there. But besides that, that's in just about perfect condition. Of course, you have the two side bolsters as well passenger seat, driver's seat. Since I haven't shown the driver's seat on camera yet, I'll show you the only imperfection is right here, but there's a little bit of a tear as well in this seam, but look at how good overall they are. Once they get cleaned up a little bit, it's really just dirt. It's not even anything significant. They're going to be just about perfect. Of course, best part of the anniversary seats is it says Saab right there. So they're basically arrow seats but better. Now someone can tell me, or tell everyone I guess below in the comments, if this is the premium leather. I think it's the premium leather, but regardless, they're super, super comfortable. I might almost like them as much or maybe more than the Turbo X seats. Hi dog. But with that being said, that's it for today guys. Just wanted to take you along to the junkyard and uh, get what I could. Again, I only had about an hour unfortunately. But if you enjoyed this video, if you're excited for the anniversary seats to go in, leave a like down below. Also leave a like for Doggo right there. See you guys next time.